In this episode, WikiLeaks protesters using botnets to attack websites, Google's CR48 has been reviewed, and Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Quicksurf Internet Media presents The Geekinator, talking about all things tech and geek. Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm your host Adrian, coming to you almost live from lovely Phoenix, Arizona, here in Studio C1 at Quicksurf Internet Media. The Geekinator is a proud member of the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. Do feel free to head on over to uh, techpodcast.com and check out all the other technology-related shows over there. Let's go ahead and get into the stories for Season 4, Episode 7. From USA Today, WikiLeaks protests using botnets to attack websites. Now, for those of you, I hope you all know what's going on with the whole WikiLeaks thing. Um, But uh, what this story is about here, an effort by supporters of WikiLeaks to take down Internet retailing sites at the height of Christmas shopping got a boost Thursday from hackers who can launch thousands of unwitting computers into the fray internet security experts say. The attackers who briefly disabled websites for MasterCard and Visa a day earlier also focused on PayPal, which accepts payments for 8 million businesses, said Tal Bui of web security firm Imperva. The attack is gaining more speed and momentum, Bui said. So basically what's happening is a lot of people who are protesting what's going on with WikiLeaks uh, as well as a lot of hackers are are attacking uh, websites using all all these botnets that have been around forever that are used in attacks and for you know harvesting uh, phishing information and that sort of thing from people. So um, it's kind of interesting stuff. I'm a, a little dismayed that pe- that people are reacting the way they are, but you know what? It happens. From Computer World, Google CR48 unboxed and started up. Uh, The CR48 has landed. Uh, They have received one of Google's first Chrome OS-powered laptops, which is kind of nice. As you'll see in the video that they have, uh, the CR48 looks a lot like an old black Apple MacBook that's trying to sneak past customs. It's all flat black with no stickers or even product logos anywhere to draw attention, which is kind of interesting. Um, It's got a 12.1 inch display. It uses solid state memory. Google doesn't say how much solid state memory though. Um, It's very quick to start up from hitting the power button to getting the login screen is about 15 seconds. Now, obviously this is Chrome OS, so it's gonna be really light uh, along with the stuff that it comes with is gonna be fairly lightweight, but uh, still nonetheless, this is pretty neat stuff. From betanews.com, Google is saying that they're activating 300,000 Android phones daily. Daily, 300,000 Android phones daily. That's like 109 million phones a year. Is that possible? Ooh, I'm I'm having trouble with 109 million phones a year is a lot of phones. Is this worldwide or just here in the U.S.? I I have trouble seeing this being here in the U.S. That has to be a worldwide number. But anyway, um, it's up from 200,000 daily, like three or four months ago. Nobody's surprised, but still... Uh, you know, I, I'm I'm a little shocked at that it's actually that high. I was expecting, you know, something much lower because that's 109 million activations a year. That is a lot of phones. I mean, here in the U.S., we got what 300 million people, so that's one phone for every three people. And I know that can't be right for here in the U.S. because there are a lot of iPhone users here. Here, um, it'll be interesting to see. I, I haven't read the entire article, and I don't think that that's for U.S. only, but uh, still nonetheless, wow. From CNETnews.com, Costco confirms it will stop selling Apple products. This is kind of a bummer. During Costco's fiscal first quarter earnings call today, Chief Financial Officer Richard Galenti confirmed that the company is in the process of phasing out Apple products from its shelves. The news, which was reported by the Seattle Times, confirms a two-month-old rumor from iLounge that noted the process is already underway. So, kind of uh, interesting. Um, You know, 
I don't think Apple's mourning the loss so much because every time I've been, they have two Apple stores here in the Metro Phoenix area and I've been to both of them. And every time I go to the, one of those Apple stores, it's a madhouse. It's one of the busiest stores I've ever been to. It's insane. Um, I don't think Apple's worried about it at all. If anything, it simplifies a few things for them. From Bloomberg Business Week, uh, summary box, big bills after kids borrow iPhones. This story is primarily kind of raising awareness for parents. If you have iPod touch, kids with iPod touches or, or even iPhones, uh, there are some applications that, uh, you know, you have in-app purchases and that sort of thing. And uh, it's, it's racking up giant iTunes bills. So uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, check the story out. It's, it's kind of a short little blurb type of story but uh you know it, it's pretty interesting stuff from destructoid.com uncharted 3 drake's deception gets first screens so naughty's dog rumored new uncharted title is a real thing it's called uncharted 3 drake's deception and it was released revealed not released revealed today by entertainment weekly of all places sony and naughty dog have released the first screens of the game along with some concept art all of which find nathan drake in a nasty predicament it seems a plane presumably one he was on has crashed in the middle of a desert Put mildly, that's bad. So uh, they've got some gallery shots in there. Uh, by all means, check it out. It's pretty cool stuff. That'll pretty much do it for this episode of The Geekinator. As always, I thank you for watching and or listening. Uh, as you always, you can find us on the web, quickshift.com. Everything we've uh, talked about is linked up in the show notes. Just go to the website and look at the show notes for the relevant episode. And you can follow me online over at twitter.com slash Adrian underscore Bacon. And I've got multiple other places in the show notes you can follow me. And I will see all of you on the next episode. I'll see you then. Bye.